Hey teachers, this is Coach Boydston. Uh, I put this screencast together. I want to show you how to use iCalendar, which is already on your iPad. It's also on your MacBook or if you have any other Mac uh, product. But on the iPad specifically, we have a calendar built in there called iCalendar. So I want to show you how to build a class calendar on there and then push it through the cloud to your students. And that way they can access and see everything you want them to see that's going on in your class and you don't have to print up calendars, you don't have to do anything else extra. So let's go ahead and get started. Go down to the bottom, we click on iCalendar. Obviously it brings up our calendar. What I want to draw your attention to is up in the top left. Uh, click on that calendars button. Up in the top left, we click on that and it brings up a list of my calendars. And we can see this list underneath iCloud here. I got several that are there for family or for myself. You also see the one I have for my class and it says it's a public calendar because I've made it public to the kids. So let me show you how I did that. So if we go hit edit up in the top, one thing we can do is we can add a calendar. So I'm going to select add a calendar. Um, let's just make this one iTunes U. All right, we'll call it iTunes U. We'll make it red. And I'm going to hit done. And then i got to hit done one more time. Now down there at the bottom, we now have a calendar called iTunes U. Now obviously I haven't put anything in the calendar for iTunes U yet, but it's there. Now if we want to share that with our students, we need to make it public first and then share it. So I'm going to hit this little blue arrow here right there next to it. And if we scroll to the bottom, what we notice there is where it says public calendar. I'm going to click that on. And what that does is it makes it a public shareable calendar through the cloud and you can see it reads right there that it's a read-only version meaning students although they can view it on their iCalendar through their iPad they're not going to be able to edit what you put in there only what you put in there can they see uh, also one thing I like is you can put little notifications you've probably made notifications for yourself and set a alarm to go off uh, you can do the same thing for them so that's always kind of fun so what I'm gonna do here though is I'm gonna hit share this link and then what I like to do is email it to myself because I want to be able to open it up on my MacBook or you could open it up on a PC and uh, copy that link and then open up Course Manager and put it into my iTunes U course as a way for students to access this link. And so what I'm going to do is hit mail and then it's from this point that I would just want to type in my email and email it to myself. That way when I get back to my computer, I can just pull that link up. I can copy this link here. It's a really long link and I can put that into my iTunes U course, then the kids now have access to that link to be able to subscribe to this calendar. So let's go over to a MacBook and let's look at what this looks like putting this into an iTunes U course and then what it will look like for the kids. So let's go there. All right, teachers. So now that we're back here on my MacBook, what I've opened up is the course manager uh, through the web. And what we're gonna wanna do is click on our course. So let me click on my course here and we're wanting to add that link into our course. Now what I've already done is, prior to this, is I've pulled up my email, I opened that link, well I saw the link, I copied the link, and so now I'm gonna go paste it into my course. So let's go to post, and I've already done all this just to kind of streamline it. And you can see what I've done right here is I copied it out of that email that I sent to myself, and then I pasted it right here into my course. And so, Obviously, I would have to bring the kids' attention that this is where they would need to go, is go to that first post. Uh, I'm just doing this for an example purposes, but this essentially will put it as a post into my, into my course to where the kids have access to this link to be able to open that link and then subscribe to my calendar. And so obviously, we would want to click Save down here at the bottom. And then once we click Save, it's going to push that to your iTunes U course to where the kids are now going to be able to see that link. Now, once they've seen that link, they're going to have to copy that link, paste it into their browser, and then they're good to go for the rest of the year. So let's go back over to the iPad and let's look at what this will look like to the kids when they pull it up on their iTunes U course and go from there. All right, so let's head over there. All right, so now we're back on the iPad. Let's look at what it's going to look like for the kids. And so when they click on the course, let's click on my biology course here since that's where I dropped this example. And I put it in the very first thing here, which was underneath the course description. And so if we select that, you can see that big long link there. And it says copy link and paste it into your web browser, just letting the kids know what to do. And so what you're going to have them do at this point is they're just going to copy it. And so I need to select all of that. All right, from this section, and I'm going to hit copy. And once I've copied that link, then I just got to open it up in a web browser, and then we're good to go. So let me exit out of here. Let's go to our Safari. And then up in the top, we're going to hit paste. 
and then we're going to hit go down there and we're ready to go and then this will pop up right here now it says boydston biology i'm using my calendar as an example i know we just got done building one called itunes u but so that's what's going to show up and then the kid will hit subscribe when they hit subscribe it's going to say view events and we're good to go so now that kid can pull up pulls up their itunes calendar and you can see everything that's on that calendar there. So whatever, like you can see here in the red, I put EOC test. I made it red, just like we did with the iTunes one. And so that, that calendar is now being pushed, and now, now it's being pushed twice uh, to my iCalendar now that I subscribed for a second time to my own calendar. So, um, But just very simple. And like I said, if every teacher did this, can you imagine how easy it would be for the students? They'd have one place to go and they'd be able to see what's going on in every single one of their classes. So hopefully that was beneficial. If you have any questions, please just email me. I'm Coach Boydston. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day.